Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lil Lil Lex in a box, and I am here with the King sister, Jay Lund, Brittany London. How you doing, girl? I am great. I love how you call my baby Bubba uh, uh, King. He is. He is there. We trying to be like him when we grow up. I know that's right. Come on, baby brother. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so happy to have you here, part of 214 Day, so I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. You had your short film uh, screening here, the first American screening here. The film is called Duvar. Can you tell us a little bit about Duvar? Duvar, right. So Duvar is a short film that I wrote, produced, and directed. I didn't mean it had that many hats, but it ended up happening that way. Um, and it's based on uh, Francois Miller's story. Um, I went to school with Francois Miller, and um, it was just a story that I was very, very, you know, interested in drawn to. Um, and it's about uh, what happens to a young man when he is trying to save his daughter, trying to resuscitate his daughter's life, and what happened when he goes awry. Um, ultimately, he was charged for capital murder for, for his four months old. Mm -hmm. Now, I watched the screening out with the audience, and I noticed such an emotional reaction. Everybody was very intrigued. Um, what inspired the film Duvar, and why is it called Duvar? So again, it's based off of, again, you know, Francois Miller's story. Um, I I was writing a bigger story in my writers group, and um, it was about like walls and police reform, prison reform, and all these other good things, all these other things, magic, tick token words now. Um, and I found out that Dubar in Turkish means uh, wall or Muriel. So I decided to name the film that, and then come to find out uh, Francois Miller's name, middle name is Dubar. So that's why I went with the name. Well, I absolutely love it. Like I said, it was very moving, very inspirational, uh, and emotional. You know what I'm saying? So I want to say, uh, how does it feel, being from the 214 area, being from Dallas, how does it feel having your first American screening uh, as a woman from, a black woman from the Dallas area? Well, um, I'm excited. <laughs> no, this is great. This was actually perfect. I don't think I could have asked for a, a better screening or a better location for a screening. Um, I am from Dallas. I'm a Dallas native, and the case took place in Mesquite, Texas, so it just felt right. Um, we did have a screening in Paris, France. It was a virtual screening um, because we won that film festival, Best Short Film in that film festival. So we got screened there, and then it just felt like a natural progression to, to shoot at 214 Day. And then Justin kind of planned this whole event, and he was like, hey, Britt, we're we going we gonna, we gonna to show your film there. I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but I'll take it. So it just felt like a natural progression. Too. I know that's absolutely right. You go, girl. I mean, your film is absolutely incredible, and we love it. Tell the people, how can we keep up with you? What's your social media? Can we follow you on YouTube? Subscribe? What can we do to keep up with Brittany London? Man, 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 man. Okay, that's a really great question. I'm starting a nonprofit organization called the Black Lotus Project, um, and it is a nonprofit organization that uh, uses art therapy to connect to utilize families of incarcerated individuals to the incarcerated individual themselves. So um, we started that. I'm still working on the website for that, but my website is www.brittanylondon.com. So check out a little more about Black Lotus. Uh, and oh, my Instagram, my socials is oh, blondon underscore eight seven. I'm not that social, but I'm trying to get my life together, you know? I'm trying to get it, trying not to be a little secret actor. That's what they call me, a secret actor. Um, but yeah, that's, that's me right now. Okay, well that sounds like a plan. I want everybody to go follow her right now. Brittany London doing a damn thing right now. You tell the people you shot that film actually in New York. Oh yeah, man, that was crazy. So I was gonna get another director, it was gonna be all these other things, so I decided to shoot the film myself. Um, and then COVID, well first, we were trying to raise money for it. COVID happened. Something, a wind got behind me and was like, Brittany, you gotta keep going, right? Like, you gotta keep doing this. Um, and I know that was just like the grace of God. So we ended up continuing to raise money for the film and we we're gonna shoot it in May, but again, COVID, so we kept pushing it back. So we ended up shooting it in my apartment in Queens. <laughs> And I asked permission from my landlord, like using the credits too. Um, so yeah, we shot it there, and then the second floor was an empty apartment. So he let us like do makeup, hair, set everything. This apartment was huge for, for New York standards, um, and we just used my whole apartment building. Basically. You know, when you really start to dive deep into your dreams, people really do come along and help you with your vision. You're right, absolutely, absolutely, and again, like like I said, like back in March when something told me just not to stop. I was like, God, I don't know how this is gonna happen. You're gonna have to show up and show out. And absolutely, and absolutely to your point, like people just was like, hey, I can help you do this. Or, you know, here's a little bit of money to do this. Uh, so we were able to raise about seven grand to shoot the film. 
Um, and then obviously I put some of my own little ducats in there. Uh, but yeah, you're right. I want to say congratulations. Thank you for your screening here at 214 Day. We're so happy to have you back in the city. I know it's probably been a minute. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, y'all. It's 214 Day. Jay Lund and Mo Classified. Shout out to those two, the hosts. It's Brittany London. It's Lil' Alexa in the box. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs>